But first, historic flooding in Esto County in the past 24 hours. Emergency management officials say crews have made 15 water rescues. And the Kentucky River is still rising, causing more widespread damage and road closures. LEX 18's Lee Searcy spent the day there and has the latest on the massive flooding in tonight's Big Story at 6. Highway 52, Irvin's main drag, is underwater. I would say it's historic flooding. For the first time, the Kentucky River has closed the city's direct shot to downtown Irvin and other businesses. The local McDonald's is still serving, though. If you're going to get a biscuit, you got to go in over here. With one less entrance. And Wiseman Town Road is swallowed up by the Kentucky. How deep is the water, would you say, over there? I mean, those signs are, what, maybe eight feet tall? I would say at least uh, that one right there where it says west, uh, you're probably looking at, you know, a good six, seven, eight feet right there. A few miles away on White Oak Road, damage that hits the heart. A driveway that no longer goes to its home. A neighboring house partially flooded, its front porch light still on. Some longtime residents remember the flood of 1957 and say there's no comparison to now. Oh, this is worse. Yeah, it's worse. Tony Neal was a teenager when he says the river skimmed Highway 52, not making it impassable like it is right now. Well, the flood is a lot more. We got more rain and but here this time we, we did the other time. This is like the, the main interstate of the county. I mean, it's it's just shut everything down. I mean, it really has. I've never, I mean, businesses on that side, you know, had to can't close up basically, uh, but just waiting for it to go back down. In Estill County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.